Hi there guys, hope you're doing well. This is your friend and tutor Manas. So let's see what this problem has in store. Here we go. A prismatic bar AB of negligible weight is hinged at A with the end B resting against the vertical wall. It supports a vertical load P as shown. Find the reaction RB. So let us try to understand this arrangement. So there is this bar AB which is resting onto this vertical wall. Okay. Apart from that, there is a force P acting in the downward direction at a distance of a from this hinge okay now there is a hinge over here and hence you're gonna have two forces ha and va something of this sort and then since this is a smooth surface over here a vertical surface it's gonna offer a normal reaction to this uh, prismatic bar rb towards the left hand side direction what we are supposed to do is we have to calculate the value of reaction rb so let us see how this can be accomplished and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using this what you call moment equation and the moment equation that I'm going to be using is this one moment about point A is equal to zero. The benefit of taking moment about this point A is that these two forces HA and VA don't come into the picture rather you can also say that the moment of these two forces are going to be equal to zero because you cannot drop a perpendicular on them. The only forces which are left is P all right and rp and in order to take moments of these two forces small little construction is to be done okay something of this sort all right so right now keep your right hand thumb over here at a try to move your baby finger along this direction you shall realize that this rb produces an anti-clockwise moment it has to be taken as positive so let me write rb multiplied by okay so this is going to be the perpendicular distance this over here it is the perpendicular distance now if you watch carefully this side is a part of this triangle all right this triangle and in this triangle this length is how much this is l and if this is theta then this distance has got to be l cos theta and this distance has got to be l sine theta so what we're going to do is rb multiplied by l sine theta this is what we're going to be writing okay what else so we have this p force in the downward direction so if you keep your right hand thumb over here and try to move your baby finger along this direction this force p produces a clockwise moment and hence negative negative of p multiplied by this distance from this point to this point this is the distance i'm talking about now this distance or this length is actually a part of this triangle over here now in this triangle this angle is theta and this distance is how much this is a and hence this distance over here is going to be equal to a cos theta so p multiplied by a cos theta and everything shall work out to be equal to zero what you need is rb so rb is going to be equal to what p a cos theta over l sin theta okay so rb is going to be equal to how much p a cos over sin is nothing but cot theta that's it so guys, that was all from my side for today. If you like the content and presentation in this video, do give it a big thumbs up. And if you believe that this video tutorial has added value to your knowledge of mechanics, then do recommend this channel to your friends and classmates so that all of them can benefit. I'll see you again with a new problem. Until then, it's a wrap. This is Manas Patnaik signing off. Take care, have a great day and keep learning.